Hi, welcome back to Introduction to Engineering Design. Today we're working on making a drawing of our assembly for our puzzle cube. Now this drawing will be a little bit different in that it doesn't show the dimensions in such detail that we actually make all the pieces. It just shows how the pieces go together. So let's go ahead and open up our assembly. So this is my sample puzzle cube. Uh, it's fully constrained, tied together, and I have an exploded view already done. So you should have done that as part of your modeling. The next thing that you should do is you should come up here to your File Properties button on the top menu bar and type in a name under Description, which is the first drop down. Give it a name and I just call it the Puzzle Cube Project. That's important for later on in our drawing. Let's save our drawing. We can leave it open or closed. I'm going to close it just to show you how you would open a file or open a drawing without the file open. And I'm going to start a new file. So I'll click on File, New. And if I'm in the Novice tab, I don't want to be. I want to be in the, I want to be in the Advanced tab because I'm going to go to this Westwood Engineering tab and select Engineering A. This opens up a specific sheet format for me. Uh, with some custom logo and some other information to give your model or your drawing package a little more professional view. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is put in my model. So that's what this asks me because I don't have anything open. It says, hey, what do you want to open? So I'm going to browse to where my assembly is. Now before we leave here, notice that all of my puzzle pieces are in the same folder. All my drawings are going to end up in that same folder too. That's a good thing. You want to keep all of your files associated with each other. So I open up my assembly. You can see down here on my model view tab in the window, I can select a front view, a top, a right, and a left, and then obviously the bottom and back views, or an isometric view. I've got front selected, so now I'm active and I don't have to drag it in. I just click once and I drop my front view. If I want to project a top view, I put my cursor above the front, click a second time, and if I would like to project a right view, put it to the right of the model, click a third time. I now drag my puzzle cube off to the side and do an isometric view. When I'm done with this, I can hit escape. I can hit the green check marks a couple different ways. So I'm going to hit escape. So let's rearrange our puzzle pieces. As we saw, or our assembly, as we saw, we can move our uh, right view left and right in our top view up and down on our drawing sheet. Our isometric can go anywhere. Let's change the view of our isometric. So select the isometric picture and then choose shaded with edges. That gives it color. And in fact, let's give that same color to all the pieces. So that I selected my front and gave it the same coloration. I can change the scale on my isometric view if I would like. And I can make this a little bit smaller. <clears throat> I'll use a custom scale. And if the scale I wish is not in there, I can click on User Defined and type in 2 to 3. That makes it nice and neat. Now dimensions, I may still want some dimensions, so I'll go ahead and choose my Annotation tab, my Smart Dimension button, and I'm going to dimension the overall width of the puzzle cube for packaging, my overall depth of the puzzle cube, and my overall height of the puzzle cube. Now you'll notice that I don't really have any dimensions on this right view and you may say, well that's not a very worthwhile view. Well, you could argue that there's no dimensions on it, however I will tell you it does show how the, it assembles. So this is a good view. Now a couple things to note. One is the file name is what my drawing number is. That came in automatically, as does that Puzzle Cube Project title block. So kind of neat. You notice I'm on sheet one of one. So we're in good shape, but it doesn't really show how it goes together. So let's add a sheet to our drawing. A couple of ways I can add a sheet. I can actually come up here and right click on sheet one and use Add a Sheet. 
or I could simply come down here and add a sheet. So let me go ahead and highlight one and right click and add a sheet. Now you're going to notice that the same sheet format should pop up. If for some reason it doesn't, tell me. That means you've got a mistake in your configuration file that will fix. So on this sheet, I want to add the similar view. So I'm going to go over to my view palette. And off my view palette, I am now going to choose, navigate to my assembly, open it, and I'm going to choose my isometric exploded view. Drop that into my view. Use a custom scale and a smaller scale. Let's go something like 1 to 2. Add coloring. Second button from the right. Accept it. Check mark or the escape key. And now I'm in really good shape because this shows how the puzzle goes together, doesn't it? Shows how the pieces fit in. So let's add one more thing. What is this puzzle comprised of? I've got one, two, three, four, five pieces. So let's tie the drawings of the pieces to the assembly by putting in what's called a bill of materials. So on my annotation tab, I will select that, choose my tables, bill of materials, and now what it, the command asks me to do is says pick the drawing that you want me to base the bill of materials off of. I'll select that drawing view, confirm that I want top level only, and everything else looks fine. Click my check mark, drag my bill of materials somewhere into my drawing sheet. Now notice what happened. My part names appeared along with a number and the description. So kind of cool, and the quantity. So let me arrange these columns so they fit a little bit better. and move my bill of materials a little bit to the side. And now let's identify what the item number is to what the part is. And we'll do that by clicking on the balloon button right here, balloon. And I'm just going to start clicking on parts. I click once on the part and then drop the balloon off in the distance. And you'll see that it automatically picks up the number from the bill of materials. When I'm done, use my check mark. Now notice that balloon or piece one here with balloon one corresponds to the puzzle cube red piece. There are the corresponding part numbers, and this is the title of the drawing, puzzle cube project. Now it has two sheets, sheet one and sheet two, and I can flip between the active sheets by clicking at the bottom of my lower left corner of the screen here. So those are my assembly drawings for my Puzzle Cube project. The next thing we're going to look at is how can we print drawings and submit them electronically. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.